Today we are going to discuss about types of lenses on the basis of camera mount. If you are thinking about getting a new lens or you have a lens in mind and you are not sure about that will fit to your camera body or not, in this video you are going to clear about that. So let's start the video. In case you guys are new to this channel, hi I am Nico Sen and in this channel I review tech and camera gears. If you guys are interested on those, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification icon so that you guys are notified when I release a new video. Without further ado, let's start the video. In this video, we are going to discuss about DSLR cameras of Canon and Nikon and mirrorless cameras of Sony. Because I don't have that much knowledge about Sony DSLR cameras. So yeah, that's it. First, let one thing clear. You cannot use Canon lenses on Nikon body and Nikon lenses on Canon body. So that's the answer of this comment. Every camera brand has two types of cameras nowadays, a DSLR and a mirrorless. For the sake of simplicity, we'll discuss only about DSLRs in this video. Every DSLR camera has two types of sensors, full frame and APS-C crop sensor. So what are those? Let's discuss about those first. Full frame camera has a big sensor and whatever the focal length of your lens has, it will give you the same focal length in that camera. But for APS-C crop sensor camera, the focal length will be multiplied by a crop factor which is commonly 1.5 so that means if you use a 50mm lens on a full frame camera body you will get a 50mm focal length on that camera but for APS-C crop sensor cameras you will get 75mm equal focal length on that camera so that's something to consider about so first we have to check what camera body we have is it a full frame camera body or a APS-C crop sensor camera body. You can check that by going to the website of the camera brand you are using by typing out the camera model name. Now comes the types of lenses on the basis of mounts. So first start with Canon. So Canon has two types of mounts. One is EF and one is EFS. EF lenses are basically for full frame camera body and EFS lenses are for crop sensor camera body. So if you have a camera body which is full frame you have to buy the EF lenses and if you have a crop sensor camera body you can buy EFS lenses. In case of price the EFS lenses are slightly cheaper. If you buy a EF lens you can use that lens both in the full frame and the APS-C camera body. But EF lenses are professional lenses and they cost a little bit higher. But if you buy a EFS lens they are slightly cheaper but you cannot use them on full frame body. So if you are thinking about upgrading to a full frame camera body in the future, I will recommend you to buy the EF lenses though the cost is high but it's better for the future because if you buy only EFS lenses and if you in future you will move to full frame cameras, your all the lenses you bought for your crop sensor cameras you cannot use them at all. So you can use them technically with the adapter but I will not recommend using adapters or those are it may harm your camera body let's sum up so if you have a full frame body you have to buy a EF lens if you have a crop sensor body you, you have to buy EFS lens you can use the EF lenses on crop sensor bodies like Canon you have a full frame camera body and a APS-C crop sensor camera body for Nikon as well so for the full frame camera body you have to buy the FX lens and for the crop sensor camera body you have to buy the DX lens so if you have a full frame Nikon camera you have to buy the full frame FX lenses and if you have a crop sensor camera body like 3000 or 5000 d you have to buy the dx lenses unlike canon you can use the dx lenses which are basically made for crop sensor camera body but you can use them on full frame camera body as well that's a benefit for having a nikon camera but you have to set the mode for dx mode in the full frame body to use that lens it will automatically crop that lens's focal length with the crop factor sum up you can see that unlike canon the nikon you can use any lens in both the full frame camera body or the aps-c camera body in sony cameras again the same we have two types of lenses fe and e mounts so fe mounts are basically for full frame body and E mounts are basically for crop sensor bodies. You cannot change a lens with E mount with the AP mount, just like Canon. There are some third party lenses like Sigma and Tamron which can be used in Nikon and Canon, but you have to make sure that 
when you buy a lens like Sigma or Tamron lenses, the mount must be compatible with Canon or Nikon. If you want to buy a Sigma lens for your Canon camera, so you have to buy a EF or EFS mount lens for Canon. And if you want to buy a Sigma lens for Nikon, you have to buy a DX or FX lens of that company depending on your camera body. So if you have a Sony camera, you have to buy a FE or E mount for your Sony camera. My recommendation, if you want to buy a lens, always try to buy the full frame camera body version because in case anytime you want to update your camera, you don't have to buy a new set of lenses to fit on the new camera. That will be a hassle. So that was a quick video. And if you guys like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any question regarding that. And I will try to get back to you in the comment section. So that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.